What happens in this crazy market when you buy a house, you waive the inspections and you move in and you discover that there's so much happening with the house that you regret you actually purchased it. This is Joanna Nin. I'm a real estate broker with the Prosperous Agency and I've been serving this area for over 10 years. I've sold several hundreds of homes and I want to talk to you about types of home inspections that you need to have in this area. So stay tuned. And welcome back. Okay. Before we dive deep into types of home inspections and what's happening in North Carolina, I want to thank you for being on my channel. Please subscribe, comment, anything positive, negative. I'm here and I'm ready for anything you throw at me. Okay, so let's go into the what's happening in North Carolina when it comes to home inspections. Well, so let's reward engineer a little bit. Just in the past six months, everybody was buying a home and waiving appraisal and home inspections. And what that means is they were like, well, it looks pretty okay um, from just what we're looking at and we don't want to lose this offer. So we're just going to go with no inspections. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how wrong that is from so many perspectives. First of all, in the state of North Carolina, the sellers have the option of checking on the residential property disclosure, no representation. What that means is that they can just tell you, you know, we're not really sure if we have mold, we're not sure if there's a structural issue, we're not really sure of anything, Mr. Homebuyer, so you do your due diligence. You just gave us about $50,000 in fees, in due diligence fee. And you know what? If you decide to walk away for any or no reason, we are going to keep that money. I mean, seriously, you need to have a home inspection. And even if you waive the repairs, or even if you waive whatever you want to waive from an appraisal perspective, I would never as a real estate agent advise you to waive the actual inspection and say we're not going to go in the house, we're not going to inspect it, we really don't care. Let me tell you a story. Uh, we had a buyer that connected with us a while ago and he had worked with another agent and uh, she called and she was pretty scared to be honest. She said, Joanna, we've placed some offers but the, the disclosures were not very clear. We didn't know the age of the roof, the age of the water heater, the age of the HVAC. We didn't know what's happening, what type of uh, you know, siding the house has. We are coming from New York. It's very different there. There's a lot of humidity here. We don't know anything from our previous agent. Can you please tell us what is it that we need to know as home buyers? And I said, you need to have a general inspection. You need to have a radon inspection. I'd highly advise you to have a termite inspection. And if we discover anything, we're going to go deep and we're going to check the HVAC. We're going to check the roof. Make sure you remember that here, for example, in the cross space, if the cross space is sealed, the inspector will not pull you know the the seal they're not allowed to do that if the inspector goes into the garage and there's a lot of stuff in the garage he's not really allowed to pull everything and look the same thing with the termite guys so when we look at homes and we go into the attic into the crawl space if we can right remember there's snakes there could be uh, black mold there, there's so much that can happen within just a regular check that we can see, but we're not inspectors. And even the inspector cannot do a lot of things. So you need to go deeper than just one inspection oftentimes. Just this morning, my husband went to a home that we won. It was a very, very hot property and they've discovered a crack that we didn't see. They've discovered that there's some intrusion in the crawl space in one of the corners. Then we went again and we again, and we're getting quotes and we were bringing specialized inspect inspectors to let our buyers know everything that there is to know. So in other words, 
when coming to North Carolina or you know, when, when residing here, you probably know there's a lot that can happen and with the sellers not having to share with you what's happening with the home truly because they could be lying and the agent could not be aware, I would not recommend you just waiving the appraisal and the, I'm sorry, the inspection. So I would say, you know what, we don't want repairs unless we discover something major with the house. If something major is happening, we will definitely come and ask the sellers to address, let us know maybe they have to include or involve their insurance. You never, never know. So that being said, if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, I would strongly recommend that you connect with realtors, with uh, inspectors, with anyone that knows more about the area. I'm here if you have any questions, connect with me, subscribe, comment, and give me a thumbs up if you think that the content that I provided is informational and beneficial for you. Take care.